So the AI revolution is bringing us face to face with Descartes' demon, with Plato's cave, with the Maya. If we are not careful, a curtain of illusions could descend over the whole of humankind and we will never be able to tear that curtain away or even realize that it is there because we'll think this is reality. And social media, if this sounds so far-fetched, so just look at social media over the last few years. Social media has given us a small taste of things to come. In social media, primitive AI tools, AI tools, but very primitive, have been used not to create content, but to curate content which is produced by human beings. The humans produce stories and videos and whatever, and the AI chooses which stories, which videos would reach our ears and eyes, selecting those that will get the most attention, that will be the most viral. And while very primitive, these AI tools have nevertheless been sufficient to create this kind of curtain of illusions that increased societal polarization all over the world, undermined our mental health, and destabilized democratic societies. Millions of people have confused these illusions for the reality. The USA has the most powerful information technology in the whole of history, and yet American citizens can no longer agree who won the last elections, or whether climate change is real, or whether vaccines prevent illnesses or not. The new AI tools are far, far more powerful than these social media algorithms, and they could cause far more damage. Now, of course, AI has enormous positive potential too. I didn't talk about it because the people who develop AI naturally talk about it enough. You don't need me to, to, to add up to that chorus. The job of historians and, and philosophers like myself is often to point out the dangers. But certainly, AI can help us in countless ways, from finding new cures to cancer, to discovering solutions to the ecological crisis that we are facing. In order to make sure that the new AI tools are used for good and not for ill, we first need to appreciate their true capabilities and we need to regulate them very, very carefully. Since 1945, we knew that nuclear technology could destroy, physically destroy, human civilization as well as benefiting us by producing cheap and plentiful energy. We therefore reshaped the entire international order to protect ourselves and to make sure that nuclear technology is used primarily for good. We now have to grapple with a new weapon of mass destruction that can annihilate our mental and social world. And one big difference between nukes and AI, nukes cannot produce more powerful nukes. AI can produce more powerful AI. So we need to act quickly before AI gets out of our control. Drug companies cannot sell people new medicines without first subjecting these products to rigorous safety checks. Biotech labs cannot just release a new virus into the public sphere in order to impress their shareholders with their technological wizardry. Similarly, governments must immediately ban the release into the public domain of any more revolutionary AI tools before they are made safe. Again, I'm not talking about stopping all research in AI. The first step is to stop the release into the public sphere. The same way you can, you can research viruses without releasing them to the public. You can research AI, but don't release them too quickly into the public domain. Um, if we don't slow down the AI arms race, we will not have time to even understand what is happening, let alone 
to regulate effectively this incredibly powerful technology. Now you might be wondering or asking, won't slowing down the public deployment of AI cause democracies to lag behind more ruthless authoritarian regimes? And the answer is absolutely no, exactly the opposite. Unregulated AI deployment is what will cause democracies to lose to dictatorships. Because if we unleash chaos, authoritarian regimes could more easily contain this chaos than could open societies. Democracy, in essence, is a conversation. Democracy is an open conversation. You know, dictatorship is a dictate. There is one person dictating everything, no conversation. Democracy is a conversation between many people about what to do. And conversations rely on language. When AI hacks language, it means it could destroy our ability to conduct meaningful public conversations, thereby destroying democracy. If we wait for the chaos, it will be too late to regulate it in a democratic way. Maybe in an authoritarian or totalitarian way it will still be possible to regulate. But how can you regulate something democratically if you can't hold a conversation about it? And if you didn't regulate AI on time, you will not be able, we will not be able to have a meaningful public conversation anymore. So to conclude, we have just basically encountered an alien intelligence, not in outer space, but here on Earth. We don't know much about this alien intelligence, except that it could destroy our civilization. So we should put a halt to the irresponsible deployment of this alien intelligence into our societies and regulate AI before it regulates us. And the first regulation, there are many regulations we could suggest, but the first regulation that I would suggest is to make it mandatory for AI to disclose that it is an AI. If I'm having a conversation with someone and I cannot tell whether this is a human being or an AI, that's the end of democracy, because that's the end of meaningful public conversations. Now, what do you think? about what you just heard over the last 20 or 25 minutes. Some of you, I guess, might be alarmed. Some of you might be angry at the corporations that develop these technologies or at the governments that fail to regulate them. Some of you may be, may be angry at me, thinking that I'm exaggerating the threat or that I'm misleading the public. But whatever you think, I bet that my words have had some emotional impact on you. Not just intellectual impact, also emotional impact. I've just told you a story, and this story is likely to change your mind about certain things, and may even cause you to take certain actions in the world. Now, who created this story that you've just heard, and that just changed your mind and your brain? Now, I promise you that I wrote the text of this presentation myself with the help of a few other human beings, even though the images have been created uh, 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 with the help of, of, of AI. I promise you that at least the words you heard are the cultural product of a human mind or several human minds. But can you be absolutely sure that this is the case? Now, a year ago, you could. A year ago, there was nothing on Earth, at least not in the public domain, other than a human mind that could produce such a sophisticated and powerful text. But now it's different. In theory, the text you just heard could have been generated by a non-human alien intelligence. So take a moment, or more than a moment, to think about it. Thank you.